Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for October the 24th to the 31st. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. Oh, we are in the Halloween season. This is so exciting that at the end of this week is Halloween and I am looking forward to eating Halloween candy, but I am looking forward to shelling out as I haven't done that in a while, like in four years. So I'm really excited to do that. Um, also, uh, yeah, four years of not doing that because of where I lived, um, the situ or the, the, not the situation, but this is a situation, but, <laughs> uh, where I lived, it just wasn't accessible to kids, um, to come and knock on my door because there was just, the roads were too busy. But anyway, so I'm happy because I live somewhere else now and I am so excited to answer the door to all of the kids for Halloween. All right, so now to you, Gemini, you have the Seven of Cups. Wow, this is pretty cool. So with this Seven of Cups, actually it's 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 cool because uh, we're in the Scorpio energy, but it's cool because there are a lot of opportunities for you. Um, you have a lot of things that you can choose from. A lot of things that are going to be showing up for you. So what I meant by the Scorpio season is that this is a time for you to shed all of the stuff that you don't want, that doesn't feel right anymore, that doesn't resonate. And so allowing this shift and this cycle to start and start recognizing the things that you don't want in your life anymore, perf uh, profession personally or professionally, I was trying to say the words at the same time, um, this here, it's sh this is showing up as as there's long-term things that are coming for you, but there's also short-term things that are coming for you. And it's, it, it can kind of all maybe feel like it might be coming at once, but really be like uh, very decisive, very discerning. And, uh, and, and Gemini, like you're good at that. You're good at that. Um, you, your air, you know, and, yeah, you will make the right choice. Really use that intuitiveness that you have within you. And using this cup energy is the energy that we are in. We're in the water energy right now for this week until um, kind of like the mid of the mid. Oh, there's two cards here. Um, the mid of November. So, wow. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one here. This one is the page of cups. Now we just had cup energy. We had the seven of cups for your situational energy. This one here is the action. And this one here is like, there's new opportunities. There's new things that are coming up. The cup energy is, it could be talking about, um, new relationships, new partnerships that are coming up in your life. Now, this is this is really exciting because um, you're going to have a lot of it. And I think that it's going to kind of like really be a journey. OK, um, there's going to it's it's almost it's going to be like a delightful journey that it's almost like uh, like a tension. There's just going to be things coming up and and your mind is going to be very, very busy. OK, now you have the emperor and the emperor is someone that has uh, everything in order. And with this emperor, with this fire energy, it is also like taking action, which is the action placement, but also um, like making those quick decisions, making those confident decisions. So I really feel like with everything that's coming up for you, that it's it's like you're not going to be wavering. You're not going to be, um, what is that? Indecisive. You're not going to feel indecisive because you've got this quick fire energy that's happening and supporting you. I love that this shows up as like something new's coming up, but you have that emperor, that boss energy, like in control, uh, in command. Whoa. Okay. Now <laughs> you have two cards here. 
Wow. Oh my. Okay. So this is really cool. So Gemini, you have the lovers, but you also have, um, okay. That's really cool because again, you have a water energy and you have a fire energy. So then you have the five of fire. Now the five of fire, I always love to see this card. This is talking about that you're getting out of chaos and conflict. You're getting out of things that aren't working for you. And look at that. You're doing it. You are making those shifts. You are making those changes that are needed in order for you to prepare yourself for 2023. I love this. I love this. You have so many opportunities, so many amazing things that are coming up for you. Now, with this card, the lovers, it can very well mean that there's some sort of relationship, which could be romantic, that's brewing. But this also means that there could be some sort of professional, a friendship. It could mean various things. Now, with this, it, it shows that you are in the forefront because behind here, there is someone that's transparent. Now that could represent spirit, that could represent the universe, your higher power. This one here is showing that you are the most important. And whenever the lover's card comes up, I always say that you are the most important person to have that relationship with. The relationship with yourself, first and foremost, the most important. That's why it's showing up as you. And then here, there's the pillars, but not just plain old pillars. These pillars, like they have like, like ancient writing in them. They have like meaning, they have purpose. Okay, so with those pillars, it's always representing that you're moving into something new. So you're moving into a new relationship, moving into a new partnership, a new friendship. But this is really um, like developmental and every single placement you have the water energy. I really would like to guide you in the way of flowing with that energy. Um, I'm Scorpio. So Gemini, with you, allow yourself to really harness and really like say like, you know what, like I'm going to make a list of the things that I don't want in my life. And you may very well know what some of them are, but taking that action, taking that action. And, and when you when you remove whatever is uh, kind of feeling like keeping you down or uh, like non-productive, once you get rid of those things, once you kind of rip the band-aid off, there's that freedom. There's that sense of freedom. And Gemini, I just feel like, it, like because Gemini, you have that duality. And so with the duality, there's like various things that you can do. You can do something short term. You can do something long term. Okay. And then you have the duality and then you have the duality. Like this is the perfect reading for you. I thank you, Gemini, so much for you showing up for yourself, for showing up and listening to me and for supporting my channel. I thank you very much. I love you. Have a happy Halloween. Mwah.